Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about a few things as regards to what's happening with filming, and you guys have a few questions that I'm going to be breaking down later in the video, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, first things first, Happy New Year. We made it, we're in 2021, hopefully you are having a better 2021 than a 2020 and hopefully the channel will have a very good year as we head towards the returning of our shows. Batwoman comes back exactly two weeks today, I'm going to be talking about Batwoman when it comes out. Also we're going to be covering One Division, I think on the days where it's premiering. I reckon I'm going to try and do some reviews, see how popular it is and then maybe we'll continue doing Batwoman and One Division videos but we'll have to wait and see because only time will tell with regards to that but then the flash of course is the big thing coming and superman and lois as well those are going to be the two big topics on this channel obviously super goes off for now but it will return sometime later in the year but if you are new please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you have not yet that is the bell by the subscribe button if you've already subscribed obviously the subscribe button is not going to be there but click the bell if you haven't already so you get notified every time I upload a video we're going to be uploading loads of videos this year right without further ado let's go ahead and get into this the first topic I want to talk about is Melissa so yes Melissa is returning she is going to be back in Vancouver sometime either today or tomorrow obviously right now it's the evening where i am however in america obviously traveling over to canada it's still the day so basically she will be arriving tomorrow or today tomorrow is at the absolute latest she's gonna arrive because if you guys didn't know supergirl season 6 is set to resume shooting from the 18th of january so that is in exactly two weeks from tomorrow so that is why Melissa has to be there because she has to quarantine because she's living in LA and then she's moving all the way back over to Vancouver and she's going to be here for many many months as we head towards the end Supergirl shooting date in August. So that's the reasoning for why she's going to be here today or tomorrow and we may potentially get a look at some preparations getting ready for Melissa returning because you know this is going to be the first time that she's on set this season and essentially for the first few weeks they're going to be shooting some stuff with melissa that is going to be basically coverage that they missed for those past six episodes that they already shot but they left out gaps for melissa to fill in and so someone on youtube asked this do you think melissa will be in the first few episodes of supergirl since she's just coming in to film in january so i thought that was very relevant this is a question by kalia i'm sorry if i'm saying your name wrong but yeah, so that is entirely true. They're going to go back and when Melissa actually finishes her quarantine in two weeks around the 18th, that is the day they are set to return to film on set in Vancouver. Melissa is going to be filming stuff that she missed out on and then they're going to get to the progression where they finally reach to, oh, episode 7, Melissa's back to normal, Melissa is on set, everyone else is filming episode 7 as well. But for the meantime, they're going to have to maybe give like a week or so, maybe two weeks, I would say, to go back and actually fill in that stuff that she missed before, because that's very important, because we're not going to have six episodes of no Supergirl. I think that'll be stupid. Maybe two episodes or so we're going to be missing, but that is going to be the flashback episodes with the young Kara and Alex showing up. So that's what's happening with Melissa. She is returning either today or tomorrow to Vancouver. So that's just an update for you guys as to when they are coming back to actually film. And so another point that I wanted to bring up is that Melissa's stunt double again has posted another photo of her on the Supergirl set with no bangs. Now why is that important you ask? Well you know the stunt double has to look exactly the same or as close as they can to the actual main star that being Melissa. And so, for example, last season she had bangs when Melissa had bangs, and now she does not have bangs. It seems like Melissa is going to be not having bangs this season. So that's just another update for you guys in regards to, you know, what potentially could be going on as to when Melissa properly returns. And we will see in around two weeks time, probably our first look at Melissa back as Supergirl. I'm sure there's going to be some behind the scenes coverage of her returning because this is a major factor in the production. And I think, 
you know, Jesse Rav or like Nicole Maines are going to be kind of freaking out, I think, and they like their social media, so I reckon we're going to see some posts somewhere of Melissa on set once again in the Supergirl costume. Also, if they go out to film on the streets, that's where we're going to see the behind the scenes photos. They are the ones I'm specifically looking forward to because we will see her in action once again. So excited for this. Anyway, let's move on to our next topic. And so there is another question that was sent in and I wanted to break it down. So this comes from Arrowverse Scenes on YouTube who asks, how long do you think the Arrowverse will live on for? So this is a really great question because we've talked about this, but I want to actually properly break it down. So in terms of Arrowverse and how long is it going to last? Well, I think the main question we have to ask is, is this version of the Arrowverse going to last? You know, the shows we currently have on right now, like Batwoman, The Flash, and we're going to exclude Superman and Lois from this because it's a new show and it hasn't come out yet. So we have Batwoman, we have The Flash, Supergirl and Black Lightning both ending, Arrow has already ended. So pretty much this state that we're in right now for the Arrowverse is going to be coming to an end soon. The Flash is going to continue, Supergirl is ending this year, Black Lightning is ending this year. It seems like Batwoman and The Flash are going to be the shows that are going to sort of lead the Arrowverse forward and then you'll have new shows joining those shows after Supergirl and Black Lightning goes away so you will have Superman and Lois which is premiering this year that is going to be one of the big shows it's poised to be so yeah we're definitely going to be covering it on this channel so please be sure to not miss any of those videos because obviously when Supergirl goes we need something else to talk about and we're going to be talking about Superman and Lois. But I also plan on covering Wonder Girl, which is another big thing. Because they announced a slew of new DC TV shows. There is the Painkiller show. There is Wonder Girl. We have the HBO Max shows that I want to cover, like Green Lantern. So it seems like the Arrowverse has a future. And the future seems very clear. It seems like it's these new shows coming forward. And you'll have The Flash and Batwoman still kind of leading the head but then it will eventually be taken over. But in terms of the CW specifically, you have Wonder Girl hopefully coming very soon, maybe in the next few years or something. I actually missed out Stargirl. Stargirl is still going to be a big thing, and, you know, when it gets more involved in the Arrowverse, then we can, you know, properly talk about it more. However, it is there, it's on the CW Season 2, is coming, and it is a part of the Arrowverse. So that's going to be sticking around, and then you have Wonder Girl, and then you'll have Painkiller, not sure what is going to be happening with Painkiller, it seems a bit odd compared to the other ones because his character we already know, it's not a brand new show, it's a spin-off of Black Lightning, Black Lightning's ending, we don't know how many seasons it's going to last, but it does seem like Wonder Girl is going to be like this big new show that is going to kind of spearhead it forward, kind of like how Bow Woman just came and it seems like it's kind of taken over as one of the biggest shows on the CW and also recently they announced another DC TV show which is called Naomi again this is a bit of a strange one because it's a character that hasn't been created properly in the comics and is pretty much going to be, you know, starting anew we don't have that much details but yeah it seems a bit odd because it's not like a proper superhero name or something like that, it's just Naomi. And yeah, so it seems like Wonder Girl is going to be the big show going forward. And then I think the HBO Max stuff is going to be very important. Obviously, you've still got Titans, you've still got Doom Patrol, and then you have the Green Lantern show coming, and then you have the DC films that they've announced. Maybe I'll do a video on some of those very soon, because they are planning to release two films on HBO Max a year for DC. And then you've also got the DCEU, so, I mean, DC is not going anywhere, the Arrowverse isn't going to go anywhere, and it's going to be a while because they are announcing new shows, the Arrowverse is most certainly not going to die sometime in the next five years, it's going to be longer than that, don't know where the official end date is, I think they're going to continue as long as they can, but I think, you know, our version of the Arrowverse is pretty much going to stop when the Flash stops, I would say. And so, what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments down below. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.